Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode two of our UFC 5 career mode let's play as a brawler slash boxer. In episode one, we got our character created, and towards the end of the last episode, we got our first amateur fight done, and we won by knockout, so that's good. And we're about to continue along the storyline. So it looks like after that fight, we gained, um, we got some additional cash, we got some fans. Moves upgraded to the next level, so it looks like our overhand. Um, Got upgraded? Is that what happened? Uh, let me read this. Gain move evolution by throwing or landing strikes during fights or in training camp. So, And then we also got some evolution points. And just continuing along the storyline. Here comes the KO. Right like there. Boom! That's it, right? Okay. But why is he there? It's like, oh, hey guys, look, is that Alex Perea? No, 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 no. That's Brandon Moreno. No, I'm losing it. That's Michael Chandler right there. I know exactly who this is. It's that social media sensation whose coach told him explicitly not to do backyard battles anymore. Am I right? Come on, coach. I told you already. That was the last time I was oh, going to sign oh, up for Oh, I know. I know it's the last time. I know it's the last time because we're going to start training you for legit fights starting today. Hold on. Did you just say legit oh, fights? Oh, oh, look at him. All excited. Like I'm doing you a favor. Tell you what. Don't thank me yet. We got to take your training to a whole other level. So, go get changed, warm up, meet me by the bag. Oh, you got it, coach. All right. Hey, 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 social media sensation, no high fives, okay? Get your ass changed, warm up, meet me by the bags. Jeez, this fucking kid, what are we gonna do? I don't know. There you are, the kid sensation. <laughs> What's up? Listen, I'm not gonna lie to you, that knockout was pretty impressive. Some natural ability, but that backyard brawler was no defensive wizard, right? You could be fat as like that just by throwing the same shit over and over. Against higher level opposition requires more skill, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's go over some basics on the bag and get you warmed up. Yes, sir. Right. All right. <sighs> All right, gonna hit some leather today. I'll call it out, you throw. There you go. Here we go. Hooks now. And focus on uppercuts now. Go. All right. All right. Connect some punches together. All right. Here we go. Show me your overhands. It's not working. Step it up in there. There we go. Get under that shot. Beautiful. Let's go. Show me some strikes. I like that. Moving on to the next. Keep at it. Okay, okay. Leg kicks now. Good, good. Moving on to the next one. Now let's put some punches together. Great. Good. 
go to work. <laughs> Feel that? Shit burns, right? Now you see how important it is to manage your stamina? If you just keep throwing non-stop, eventually your attacks will get slower and weaker. Now bags don't hit back, sparring partners do. So keep that in mind while we work on some stuff in the octagon. People like to say defense wins championships, but in MMA, we know it also keeps you from getting knocked the fuck out. So that's exactly what we're gonna focus on. Defense. Blocking strikes, using head movement and footwork to avoid taking damage. Cool? Yeah, I got it, coach. Good stuff. Let's go. All right, guard up on this one. Let's drill blocking till I say stop. Here we go. That's what I want to see. Okay, let's see some blocks now. I love it. Doing great. Next one. Hands! Block with your hands! Okay, dodge all of his attacks. All right, time for something else. Let's go. Why isn't he throwing a punch? Come on. Now focus on blocking all attacks. Good, good, good. Hey, you notice how your arms get beat up when you block a few shots in a row, right? That's when your opponent will start striking right through your block. When that happens, you gotta move your head, move your feet, get space, give your body and your arms time to recover. You're right, I can't just cover up. It makes it hard to see shots coming in too. Right, but remember, evasive movements also drain your stamina. So, whatever it is, attacking, blocking, lunging, slipping, you have to be judicious. A fight happens in spurts. Five minutes is a long time. Always look for opportunities to recover. You got that? Yes, sir. Okay, let's get another round in there. See if you can put it all together. All right, now we're working with striking. I want to see damaging strikes. Now let's see some movement. Dodge those strikes. And hook snap, go! Let's focus on the clinch now. Come on, hands up! Keep it tight! Good work! Next set now. Don't let him hold you in the clinch. Moving on now. How do I get out of his clinch? Go 
Come on, let's go here. Get out of this clinch. I don't know how to get out. There we go. Doing great. Next one. All day. Moving on to the next one. Hands! Block with your hands! Yeah, good, good, good. Good work. Good work. That's right. Looks like you're ready for some real action. Now remember, it's real easy to get caught up in a moment and let the adrenaline take over in a fight. Stay focused. Stay in control. I want to see you using your knowledge in this fight. Got it? Got it. Stay focused. Stay in control. Good. All right. I'll see you there. Get some rest. All right, coach. I'll see you there. Alright guys, so that about wraps up episode 2. So very productive episode, we got some training in, 
Um, won our second amateur fight, so that was good. Got some cash. Our longevity went down slightly. So we'll always drain, no matter how well you do, time is always ticking away in your career. So, I guess with every fight, um, I guess depending on how much damage you take, your longevity goes down. So, that's uh, inevitable. But, a uh, very productive episode overall. So let me see... So how do we... see what we can do here. Yeah, I don't see how we're able to spend our um, our cash or our evolution points or anything like that. So maybe you need to get a little bit farther on or farther in the game before you can do that. Not sure. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please consider giving this video a like. Please also consider subscribing to the channel. Catch you all in episode three very soon.